Good morning. This is Granny B, and I'm from the Fort Smith, Arkansas area, Gardening Zone 7B. But I'm not going to be talking about gardening this morning. I'm going to be talking to you about some of my passions and the things that I like to do. And the reason I'm doing that is because a lot of you, uh, m some of you here in the Fort Smith area may need some of the things that I do. So let me go back about three weeks to my last video because I, I've had a health setback. Uh, I thought I had, I had fallen and I thought I had chipped my hip because I got to a point where I could barely walk and I was down for about two weeks. Turns out that I had not chipped my hip. Uh, I only had bursitis. But by going to the doctor and getting the x-ray, I got some good news that I don't have uh, a chipped hip and I don't have any arthritis in that hip. I only had bursitis. So that's good news. Thank you, Father. But uh, after that two weeks of being down, then we went to Texas. We went to Texas to visit because all of our relatives are still in Texas. And uh, my granddaughter is, is expecting a baby, Natalie. My granddaughter's name is Heather, but she's expecting a girl and she's naming her Natalie. And so we went to do a baby shower with her. My daughter-in-law, Wendy, was just genius about doing the decorations, and they asked me to help with some of the food prep. And so that is where I'm coming this morning. I love doing celebrations, uh, decorations and celebrations, and I wanted to show you some of my handiwork. Uh, recently, we had a... A religious celebration and I they were at I was asked to do a a decoration for that celebration and it was the story of the crossing of the Red Sea when Moses led the children out of Egypt well so this this is what I came up with the Red Sea parted and scripture says that the water stood up like walls on either side of them and the children, the Israelite children, passed through on dry ground. So here is my depiction of the children of Israel walking through dry ground and the water standing up as walls around them. We have Moses over here directing traffic saying, go on, go on, go forward. And between them and the Egyptian army was a, a pillar of fire. So here's my pillar of fire. Here's all my little Israelis, the children of Israel. Here's Moses. And on this side, it said that the, the sea came back together and closed in on the Egyptians. And so here you can see little drowned Egyptians underneath the water. I even have some horses there because the horses and the chariots were cast into the sea. So that's what I did for our celebration. What I did for the baby shower was uh, I did a watermelon basket that looked like a baby bassinet and I don't have a picture I do have a picture of that that I stole off of a Facebook page celebrating my granddaughter's pregnancy and baby shower and uh, so it's already picked over it's already empty except for some grapes around the plate but I'll have that at the end of the video I did the watermelon basket that looks like a baby bassinet. I did some deviled eggs that looked like a little baby bassinet with a little baby in there. It was cute. I'll have to do that for you sometime. I will recreate the basket, uh, the watermelon basket and the deviled eggs if anybody leaves a comment that they would like to see it. And the, the main feature was an actual 
yellow squash carved like a stork. And the stork was carrying a little baby in a little net pouch that you can see through and see the baby in there. And I decorated it with little bitty potatoes and Brussels sprouts as if this stork uh, had gone to the cabbage patch because little Brussels sprouts look like baby cabbages and had found this baby and is now on his way to the mother. So anyway, if you're interested in seeing any of those decorations, uh, leave me a comment and I'll recreate it for you. Some of the things that I also like to do in the food category is I like to bake bread and I can make bread in any kind of uh, custom design you would want. I bake cakes and cookies and we can do that in Arkansas. We can do baked goods in Arkansas without having to have a food permit. So if any of you in the Fort Smith area need anything like that, give me a call. I also do custom pinatas. I'm a little bit of an artist. So I wanted to show you. This was my daddy's daddy's saw. My grandpa on my daddy's side. And I painted a train on it. How did you do it? Okay. This was my mother's daddy's saw. And I just painted a pretty picture. I like landscapes. Another passion is sewing. And I love wearing crinkly gauzy skirts in the summertime. They're so cool. But of course you can see through them. And these days it's hard to find slips in the stores because people aren't as modest today as they were in years past. So what I do, I'm a big recycler too. If I can change anything and make it better or make something else out of it, I'm going to. As you can see, this was a t-shirt at one time. But I cut the sleeves out, I trimmed those sleeves and lace, and I put an elastic in the waistband, turn it inside out, and I have a slip, a slip I can wear with this dress. So. If anyone would like to see me turn a t-shirt into a slip, I'll do that. Leave me a comment below. This, another passion we have is garage sailing and thrift, thrift, mark, thrift markets. And uh, I got this t-shirt one time in a bag. You just fill a bag for a dollar. And this is a size 3X big and tall men's shirt. I bought it because I thought, well, I'll go to the flea market one day and I'll sell it. We've been two or three times and it still hasn't sold. It's a real good brand, Arizona, 100% cotton. So what I'm gonna do with this, since it hasn't sold yet, I'm gonna cut the sleeves out. I'm going to take the neckband off, but leave these little buttons. I'm going to turn it upside down and put elastic in the waist and I'll have another skirt <laughs> that cost me pennies, just pennies. So I'll have a brand new skirt for just pennies. Anyway, that's what I like to do. That's my update for today. If you'll stay uh, with me till the end of this video, I will have a few pictures of the things that I've done. Uh, I do quilting and I make memorial bears and memorial pillows. If you have a loved one who's passed and uh, you want a, a good memorial for that, that one passing, I will make a quilt or a pillow or a little bear out of his, out of his clothes. And I've got a few pictures of those too. 
And so that's it. Leave me a comment if, if you like anything you saw. And until next time, y'all have a good day.